there. Welcome to Caffeinated Crafting. My name is Daniela, known as Caffeinated Gert around the interwebs. It is Saturday, November the 2nd. I just got back from Fiber in the Borough where I've spent the day um, hanging out with old and new friends. Bought a few things like that fridge bag. <laughs> and um, got home and decided let's do the prize announcement for hats for kiddos. So we had seven individuals knit a whole bunch of hats. Plus I had a huge tote of hats that were donated from the Hook and Needle in Maryville. Thank you to Christy and all the needle, needle, all the needlers. <laughs> Thank you to Christy and all the knitters at the Hook and Needle because without them, we would not have enough hats. So I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for making this year a success. So um, I want to thank the knitters. I have a prize for everyone. That makes me really happy. So one of our new local knitters, <clears throat> who probably doesn't even watch this, but I'll give it to her in person, <clears throat> Lucinda, Lucinda knit five hats. Now she is a really new knitter. She's more of a crocheter learning to knit, but she banged out five little hats. Super cute. She knit a barley drink. And she also crocheted some hats. But anyway, five cute hats. And she wins this super kit by Rick of Whimsy Stitches, which is a guitar bag and a skein of super soft sport in Nashville neon. Thank you so much, Rick, for donating this prize. You're my hero. Y'all, we had the best time hanging out this week and there are pictures to prove it on Instagram, but I am exhausted from all the people, <laughs> all the peopling, all the hanging out with all the awesome people. Um, we did not record while Rick was here, obviously. We just, we were lazy. I'm sorry. So lazy and so awesome. So that is for Lucinda. The next person on my list here is Margie, who is also local to me. She is getting this super awesome sock blank from Nitty and Color. Super, super awesome. Margie was kind enough to knit hats and she knit, uh, I think 10, 10, 12, quite a few hats. Thank you, Margie. I appreciate you so much. Let's see, um, Averill um, knit 10 hats. I think it was 10 hats. <clears throat> I should count better, I guess. I don't remember. I counted them earlier. Um, but Avril, you are getting a lovely skein of um, Expression of Fiber Arts, Fire on the Mountain. This is Oasis Camel Sink Silk. I can't talk. It's been a long day. Oasis Camel Silk Fingering. It's 50% camel, 50% mulberry silk, and it's gorgeous. See? Don't you love it? It's so soft. So Avril, this game's for you. Send me your address either via Ravelry or Instagram. We had a chat going there. So, um, and let me know, send me your address because I might not have kept the envelope like I should have. Thanks. Let's see. Next we have Sherry. <clears throat> Pardon me who is another local knitter, and she knit <clears throat> 12 hats. Go Sherry. I say knit, they could be knit or crocheted. I'm not sure what exactly everybody did, because I know several of you do both. You created 12 hats, and you get this super awesome Color Play Fiber Studio yarn. Uh, it's Goldfish Bowl on the board game base. It is 80-20, so 80% superwash, 20% nylon, 400 yards. And 
I think if I remember correctly, this is self-striping, I think. Pretty sure. <clears throat> Let's see. Speaking of color play fibers, no, I'll save that one last. Save that one for last. I'm going to save the best for last. Um, Cheryl, who is, oh gosh, Cheryl, who are you? I mean, I know who you are, but I mean, like, what's your rivalry name? Uh, just star. Cheryl, just star. <clears throat> Knit beautiful hats. And Cheryl, you get this cool set. This is from Dragonfly Fibers and it's Shark Mania. It's for the great white mitts. So it has the pattern and all the yarn that you need to go with it. You can make super awesome mitts. So that is for Cheryl. Then let's see, we got <coughs> Alita Casey. Alita, you are getting this lovely skein of La Brevis by Nick Craig. It's like a it's a it's um like a barber polling yarn. I think this would be great for lots of things, but I think especially socks would look really good in this. See how it's it's like a barber poly yarn, and it is forty percent Peruvian Highland wool, forty percent merino, and twenty percent nylon. It feels really good. And it's 437 yards. I likes it a lot. I actually have two of these. Um, this was one of the knit crates that um, I received to try out knit crate. And I kept one and I thought I'd share one. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to knit socks out of mine. So I don't really need two skeins. So I thought I would share the wealth. <clears throat> and last... But most certainly not least, Valerie, you are a rock star. You win this, the shift that I knit out of hand spun. It's a combination of hand spun and plucky knitter. And <clears throat> also you get these hobbledy hoy batlings. <coughs> so, <coughs> sorry. That was too much fiber and too much talking. Batlings, you get to spin a little crack. Yay! <laughs> and, you know, you can't get these anymore, so I hope you enjoy the crack. Make it last. Spin it slow. <laughs> I really hope you enjoy wearing this. I think it'll look beautiful on you, and I'm, I'm, um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you, it keeps you warm up there in Kentucky. As I have that. All right. So I need to make sure I don't lose my little card here because I have everyone's name and what goes with what. Um, so while I was out and about today at Fiber in the Borough, I did work on a hat, which you like to see. It is in this lovely bag that I got from Whimsy Stitches. You can find Rick at whimsy stitches oh come on zoom in come on you can do it there you go whimsystitches.com i love this little bag it's so cute oh my tag's over there because i just wound it but anyway here's my yarn it is from black cat knit black cat fibers um i found them for the first time saw their booth at Middle Tennessee Fiber Fest in May, and I wanted literally everything in their booth. The other skein I bought from them was this. Isn't it? Uh, their colors are freaking fantastic. <coughs> so I'm knitting just a plain stock knit hat. I wanted something easy peasy to knit while I was out and about today. So here it is. I've got a stitch marker on it that I made myself. I played with shrinky dinks. And so there's a shrinky dink stitch marker on it. And I am trying out the new Addies. They are Addy, I think it's Addy Rockets 2. They have the, they're kind of square. And they have these little indentions in them. They're very comfortable to hold. And they have a decent point. 
They're not as dull as old, old timey Addies. And the way they have the indentions in there, it kind of helps you hold it and it's comfortable, but it's also sparkly. <laughs> I like sparkly. Did you know that? Did you know I like sparkly? So there is that cute hat. I likes it. I like it a lot. So I think I'm going to knit a nice long one. So I can, I don't know. Maybe, oh, that's on the needle, that's why it's, I'm like, why is it so tight? It's because it's stuck in my ponytail. Yeah, so, beginning of a hat. You'll have to excuse the hair. It looked cute earlier, but then I got home and stuck it in a, in a, in a wad back there. It's the beauty of having long hair. It's so, it's, I mean, you know, it's, it's great. I don't have to worry about, um, making sure it's done, because if I'm lazy, I can just put it, put it in a ponytail. And, um, yeah, I had a cute hat on earlier. I took the hat off and ponytail city it is. All right. So that was from black cat fibers. Check them out. Super awesome color. Um, in this bag that I got and into the wool, it is from rainstorm studio. It's like a backpack. Isn't that cool? Super. And this is my favorite painting. I don't know if you ever noticed, but if you look back, ooh, to take you on a ride there. See, look, I have the painting up there. That's probably not a good idea. That that ride was probably not a good idea. Sorry. <laughs> and you saw the mess over there. Oops. oops. <laughs> yeah, it's a little messy over there. See, this is my sewing like cutting table, and I haven't been sewing, so therefore it's now piled up. I've been working on organizing my mess, and this side is kind of organized at this point. So it looks much better than the other side. <laughs> Baby steps. <laughs> Baby steps. So anyway, in this super awesome bag, I have a sock, sock tube that I had cranked by um, Freckled Whimsy. This is one that I had cranked last year. And I actually just sent her six more skeins to crank so I can, oh, my needle fell, so I can easily crank out ha -ha, some, um, some socks for Christmas because I have several people I would like to knit socks for, but I don't have that kind of time on my hands. So, um, sock cranked socks, it is. I enjoy, um, enjoy putting nice contrasting um, heels and cuffs and whatnot and um, customizing them that way on a 64 stitch sock tube which is what this started out as and uh, it's just now cut in half I can get two full pairs of socks for ladies out of it so it's it, I have her crank all of the yarn that's itchy jiggly I have her crank all of the yarn in the two in the on in the skein and um, then I use contrasting cuffs heels and toes which gives me two full, full on pairs of socks which is freaking fantastic so we had some new knitters in the van today on the way down to fiber in the burrow who had not seen this process so I started a tube or separated a tube and knit the cuff of the first sock. So I have this um, candy cane by Dragonfly Fibers that I got at the Hook and Needle quite a, quite a long time ago. Like I think it might've been, I might've gotten this on my first ever trip to the Hook and Needle, I think, pretty sure. But, um, and I'm using this blue, sparkly blue. I don't know if you can see, can you see the sparkle? which is, I have no idea what kind of yarn. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, and there we go. I think it looks cute with the blue and the red and white stripe. So that's all I got done. I did, I showed them how I separate it and then I showed them how I knit the first cuff and then we were there. So I didn't have time to knit anymore. So that's, um, the socks with the added 
um, heels, toes, and cuffs kind of th situation is going to be um, an ongoing thing for for me for a while. I haven't really been in a sock knitting mood lately. I haven't really been in a knitting mood very much lately. So this will get me some nice Christmas gifts with less knitting time. It's like I have to spend less time with each project and that way I can, I mean, I can add a, a cuff, a heel and a toe fairly quickly. And that way <clears throat> I don't feel like I'm bogged down by a project because I'm working on projects so little that then they're overwhelming and I feel like I never get them done. I've been um, re-knitting my fingering boxy. If you remember, I had the, it's kind of a gradient with blues and grays. And I really, really thought, and I really, really tried this week um, to get it knit for, to wear it today. Still have like five inches to go. That boxy is taking forever. I do have to say, I made some good progress this week. There's at least that. I had a lot of knitting time. I took the day off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to hang out with Rick. And so we basically, we knit and we ate. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, it was fun though. All right, so let me think, is there anything else? No. I did, I did cast on a Soldotna cropped colorway, color work sweater. Thing. Um, but I only have like two rows knit of the the collar so nothing to see here <laughs> I think that might be my I was thinking that might be my nanny suimo but after starting on the socks today I might just not do nanny suimo I don't know I feel like not putting any deadlines on myself Especially this close to the holidays when I know I want to do some Christmas crafting. I want to do a little sewing, make some more little change purses. Um, I wove fabric for them, so should knit, I should sew them up. But we will see. Alright, so that's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I'll pop in again sometime you never can tell until I do or even if I don't happy knitting happy crafting and I will see you guys around bye